Hi everyone, Dan John here from danjohnuniversity.com and danjohn.net. Uh, I want to talk about a book today. Uh, what's funny about this book is I was convinced that I had picked it up in the dollar bin when uh, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire came out because my wife and I were staying in line to, uh, at midnight to get our four books because everyone in our family has to have their own. But it doesn't work out in the timeline. Uh, this book came out a few years later. So it was a Harry Potter book, but I don't remember which one it was. And I looked over and my mind made some, connected some dots. Uh, the book is Total Body Transformation by Steve Ilg. And Steve is an amazing guy. So I first heard about Steve Ilg when I started working with Mark Twight. Now Mark uh, started Jim Jones here in Salt Lake City. Uh, many of you might recognize that. But what he's most famous for, and I don't think this is a good way to start a conversation with him, is he trained the actors in the movie 300. And 300 had a massive impact in, in the world I live in. Uh, all of a sudden, everybody wanted to train and look like a Spartan warrior, which I always thought was kind of silly because we're not really sure what they look like, but we know what they look like in the movie. Well, long story short, Steve was Mark's first strength training coach and it was interesting to talk to Mark years later uh, as, as we all do and he suddenly realized that the impact Steve had on him. So this book is amazing. It is, uh, I, know, I don't know if I have a book that's more filled with information. It reminds me a lot of Purposeful Primitive uh, by Marty Gallagher but there's much more uh, do this kind of programming. Steve's uh, idea is that you link, you don't just do strength and cardio, you also do uh, yoga, and you also do meditation, and you also do uh, uh, nutrition. He has four different programs here. The, the last one's a tr nice transition one where basically you do yoga several days a week and you calm things down. Two or three of the programs are exceptionally hard. And, uh, you know, uh, but let me, let me tell you a couple of things I learned from the books. The first thing is he has this thing in one of the programs where you do, if you see something in the neighborhood that bothers you, you mindfully go and you fix it. And I was living in uh, our old place over there in Brister Drive and uh, there was this little, every day I drove by this area and it was just, it was just like a trash dump and every neighborhood had, and it's in that area that belongs to nobody. As my old mentor used to tell me, uh, if, if it doesn't, if it's owned by everybody, it's owned by nobody. Uh, well, I took his meditation and I went out there with you know, a bunch of garbage sacks and I just picked up the entire area. Well, the interesting thing was uh, not all my neighbors noticed me because of, I live in Utah. And we'll, that's another discussion for another time. But I had a number of neighbors uh, in the following weeks drive by, roll their window down, uh, you know, only about that much, so I couldn't reach it, uh, and thank me for doing it. That was really unusual. But the other thing I noticed is that every time I drove by it, I had this wonderful sense of, ha, ah, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And so since then, I've been doing this kind of thing where I just go out, and sometimes it's just around my house, something will bother me, and I'll just go take care of it. But the interesting thing is when I'm going out to put the garbage out or get my car or whatever, and I look at it, I got this sense of, huh. So, yes, it's a book about weightlifting. He has you do cleans and bodybuilding movements and push jerks and all kinds of cardio and all kinds of meditation and yoga. But it also had that life-changing uh, bit of advice for me. He has another interesting thing where you set your phone up to beep every so often. And uh, this little idea is that when the phone beeps, it can be every 15 minutes, uh, you can either, you know, relax and take a breath, uh, breath uh, make a decision, have been mindful. You could do anything. But every 15 minutes, this beeper reminds you to do something good for you and your, your whole system. Um, there's a number of things in this book I liked. Uh, I thought the training programs, his uh, clasp, the envelope, uh, his yin and yang approach. Uh, they're, they're odd sounding names, but the programming is very good. Um, he has a whole question and answer section at the end that's, that's outstanding. And what I began to notice after reading this book 
is that a lot of the principles I picked up in my first reading, which would have been, I'm guessing 2006, 2007, um, it still is with me today, um, a decade plus later. And that's a sign of a good book. So uh, I love the book. And with most of the books I recommend, it's probably going to be tough, harder to find now. But Steve Ilg has a great uh, website. He, uh, we use his uh, materials in the gym all the time. Our tonic days, we have these things called events that comes from uh, Steve. Uh, he's still competing at an extremely high level. Uh, his newsletters are fun to read. And I love this book. It's thick. It's smart. Total Body Transformation by Steve Ilg. I can't reckon, recommend it enough. I'm Dan John. Thank you so much.